are in Old Town to see a very interesting contemporary house today with Rodrigo Del Canto, who is both the architect and the homeowner of this property. And Rodrigo, I've already been through. I know it's spectacular, but give me a little bit of a feeling for what we're going to show people. Well, we're going to see a house that was built only three years ago. It has a courtyard of uh, ground granite uh, with wonderful uh, curtains. And as we go into the house, we'll show you further more details of it. Great. Let's go Something in. Like so one of the most dramatic details, this is one of the most dramatic details. When we come into this courtyard, we've got this glass-walled courtyard, three sides opening into the house. But you also have these yellow drapes, these two three-story high yellow drapes. Tell me why they're here. These curtains are a reminder of uh, Roman times uh, that curtains always were a way to provide shade, uh, some air, uh, ventilation, and a decorative element on a, on a home. So then we come in and this glass wall is the south wall. The south the wall of the house. This south wall is a three-story wall. It's a 45 foot high by 20 foot wide a glass block wall that allows for light to filter from the south without overwhelming the entrance of the of the house. Wonderful. And then we have the noise, the sound of the water here. I think we can hear it. So we have a pool underneath the stair. You know, usually people enclose the stairway and put a closet underneath right. the stair. In our case, we left it open but to lighten up the entrance of the house and create this accent, this green accent that is providing calm and the sound of water dripping that is always so soothing. Oh, well, that's terrific. And we go in to the living room. Right. As we go into the living room, you'll find a place that was made to entertain. Uh, we uh, have had the occasion of hosting up to 80 people and sitting down at a chamber music uh, presentation, as well as receptions of all kinds. And you, you've got, it has a somewhat classical look. It's got the windows flanking the fireplace. Right. What you've done in a very contemporary way, you've got this metal screen across the fireplace. Yeah, the, the walls on, that you're looking at are walls that reflect uh, a little bit of a softening of the large wall, walls that you have in the rest of the room, sure. where you can have some decorative elements and uh, pre create the liberal of texture. Those screens create a liberal of texture in a room that is quite flat. So then across the walkway here is what is the kitchen? Across the, uh, the, uh, the entranceway, you have the dining room and kitchen. Uh, combined uh, to provide a very warm environment with a fireplace that uh, uh, adds to the uh, feeling of a home. It's interesting. It's a very, it's a substantial stone heart that feels older, feels more classical, but then we have this very contemporary kitchen. Yes. The, the hood was a standard hood that we designed these extensions to provide lighting across the counter. Oh, the it's lighting. Oh, interesting. In this frame that extends from the hood. Right. In the uh, kitchen is, is designed for people who like to cook. You'll see there's cabinetry for spices. You know, the, the idea is to have lots of storage for spices, something that most houses just don't have it. They have a little tray that, with six spices. Right. And obviously, a drawer with vinegars and oils is always most necessary in a house <laughs> where people are going to cook. <laughs> but because there's so much openness both inside and out, I could be connected to the living room. Right? Exactly. The house is connected by this bridge and stairway that we are now climbing. And we have on one side the girls' quarters or the children's quarters. And on the opposite side of this bridge, we have the master bedroom uh, that is uh, connected by, as you can see, by the, a bridge by that is bridge. not connected by either, to either side of the, uh, of the walls. So adults on one side and children on the other. And you told me there's a very interesting place you, you got the inspiration for this. From Diego Rivera? Oh, uh, well, I, the memories of Diego Rivera and Frida Kahlo having two different places connected by a bridge, I thought was a civilized way to be together but not too close to each other when particularly the children don't want to be too close to well, their parents. Oh, that's great. So here we see the cabinetry you were mentioning that doesn't right. go all the way 
the ceiling. Again, in the master bedroom, we have the same situation as the children's room, that the cabinetry stops a few feet short of the ceiling so that the ceiling continues all the way across. On one side, you have a library uh, in the bedroom, and on the opposite side, you have the closet tree of the house. Let's first get this fireplace. We have a master bedroom fireplace. We have a terrific, I mean, it feels as if you're sleeping out of the courtyard with the glass here beside you. And you have your shades that come down, right, for privacy? Yes, all the shades are in this uh, first floor and on the second floor are electrical. So you, with a click of a switch, you are able to raise them or lower them. Bring those down and enclose this room. That's right. And then again, you have, while well, we have a very contemporary feeling, you have this stone walled fireplace. It feels, it feels as if it might have come from an earlier house. That's correct. The, uh, both the stone and the metal, this fireplace surround, uh, I designed and had it built. So to look more like a picture frame, so as you can see the angles, right. uh, and to really look at the fireplace as a, as a uh, piece of, of exhibition. So you've done a few really interesting things in here. We, have, we still have the walls of glass, but they're essentially striped so that right. you get the privacy but also get the light. That's right. right. Uh, on, both side, uh, on both sides of the tub, you have an enclosure. On one side, you have the toilet. On the other side, you have a shower. There's a soaking tub that allows you to have a view of the trees across from the bedroom outside. Oh. And in the evening, when uh -huh. uh, you can take a shower, uh, a tub uh, uh, in privacy, because it's dark, you can be looking out at the garden, uh, which oh, uh, in middle of the summer will be quite flourished uh, with many plants that uh, have been planted over the years in these uh, containers. Oh, wonderful. And then the shower, this shower is pretty spectacular. Here are those blue lights we were talking about. Right, the same blue lights that you see here, the lights that you will see outside of the house. So what we're doing, it's hard to tell on camera, this looks, would you mind stepping in there because it looks like it's water, but people can see now, you're just showering on a plate of glass. Yes, you shower on a plate of glass, the water falls on the edges of the glass, and the light is the light that you have in the shower stall while you are bathing. So now we're up on the top floor, and I think we're going to save this terrace in the front right. for last because it's got quite a remarkable view. So we'll go first to the bedroom. I'm sorry, the guest room. Right. This is a, a, a guest room where we can um, have the privacy of a terrace together with the mass, with the uh, bedroom and private bathroom sure. that allows for a really a very nice suite either for a guest or for a third child that you may have in this uh, house. And I'm virtually surrounded by glass here. I have the open courtyard on one side, the terrace on the other. That's correct. This is terrific. You know, while we're up here, we should mention oh. this layer of outdoor space. Yes. So this was the, ter the terrace we're on is from the, the guest room. Right. But then there was also this very large terrace. Yeah, you're looking at a 470 square foot terrace that is accessible from the dining room kitchen up a stairway that leads to this terrace that is meant, obviously, for entertainment in the summertime. Sure. Uh, we have um, the possibility of having wonderful events here uh, without disturbing the neighbors because it is quite enclosed by this panelized wall on the north side. Yeah, the, the walls are panelized in a product, it's a new product called Cement Stone. It's a recycled product, so aspects of green technology and sustainability are incorporated wow. into this house. Now this is a nice terrace, but we need to see the nicest of the terraces. And we have this nice family room as we set up on the third floor and yes. go out to quite a terrace. This is the third deck. The house is another 25 by 15 foot deck yeah. that um, provides for hammock uh, possibilities or tables. I have a quite a view of the city that encompasses all the way from the CS Tower to the Hancock uh, building. Wonderful. With Trump right in the middle. With so Trump right in the middle. Two hammocks. You've got a street view as well, which is much more intimate than that. Uh, skyline view, and then this is the chimney we saw from the front of the house and in the living room, right? That's correct. And it comes up here as more of a decorative element. Exactly.